Yo, Queen, check this shit out. What the fuck is this guy shit? It's a really, really funny animation meme cringe compilation. Yeah, no, this is hot garbage. Three, th three point, three, 3.9 million views! Are you fucking- 3 point, 3.9 million views. Uh, all you do is slap a bunch of clips together. This is- What? How? How in the entirety of the universe? How? I, 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 this is more than my channel will ever get in total. What the fuck? Animation meme cringe comes the pinnacle of YouTube. Something that countless people gain thousands of views and subscribers from. Despite it being something so unsurprisingly boring and easy to make. Download a few MP4s of animation memes, slap them together in iMovie, upload it to YouTube as Animation Meme Cringe Compilation number 27, bam, YouTube fame, baby. In my opinion, cringe compilations are good if you give constructive criticism in them, not just make fun of some animations that are not perfect or made by someone who just started animating or drawing. Yeah, the purpose of these is just a ha ha ha, laugh at how bad this is. Look, someone who doesn't draw to my satisfaction. Giggle at them and give me views instead to help them fail. The sad part is, it literally does nothing to help the artist. Considering they don't like their art, as Queen said, giving them constructive criticism, they just put their video in a cringe compilation. It doesn't help them in the slightest, more than likely just demotivates them and, well, takes away potential views. It's fucking AIDS, dude. Like, genuinely, you could give them criticism to improve and help them make their shit good, but nah nah nah, let's just laugh. I do animation memes as well. Not at all of them, but I still do them. And no, I know they aren't perfect and I could improve a lot. Now, I wouldn't give a shit if my animation got into a cringe comp, but back then, when I started animating, if it did, I think I've just stopped with animating and drawing in general. I really don't like seeing young artists in those cringe comps, because some of them probably gave up on art animations because of it. Put yourself in the shoes of a, let's say, 10 year old animation meme maker, and if you say you can't possibly do that, just try to look from the point of view. You're just starting out. You got inspired by a few other YouTubers. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into a video you made. Let's say it took a day or so. A few days later, you see your video in an animation meme cringe comp with, let's say, 60,000 views. In the comments, you see people laughing and just, well, making fun of your stuff in general. You'd probably get pretty damn discouraged and or sad, and may even just quit art right there. So it may be like, pfft, impossible. But it's pretty possible, and I'm damn sure it's happened before. Pretty sickening thinking about it that way, huh? So the solution is, don't make animation mean cringe comps if you won't critique the artist. One thing you could actually do is, uh, hmm, add some sort of entertaining reaction to the animation meme. Uh, add some commentary to it or whatever, not just upload it straight up. Just saying that it'd be actually kind of worthwhile to watch. Like animation meme cringe comps where they react like this dude and like cries on is like they 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 just put like text on a screen. They don't show their voice. And so they put like a minimal fucking effort in reacting to these. It's it hurts, bro. Like honestly, there's more effort put into these animation memes that you're quote unquote cringing at than well you know your reactions itself. In those cringe comps. People always put fair use in the description or title, even though they just show a bunch of animations in one video. Now I understand some of them don't include names because people ain't going which are those people, but it's still not fair use in any way. In most situations, cringe comp makers don't really care if the person gets attacked, because from what I've seen, if there's an intro or watermark in it, they don't even bother to censor or cut it out. The only time it's considered fair use is when you actually critique the animation itself. Basically, this means that they can create content almost daily because it requires no skill at all. You know what that means? Haha, <laughs> more ad revenue. 
With the fair use card pulled, we can go and take a look at the fair use article by YouTube. As YouTube states here, there is some misinformation out there that might lead you to believe fair use automatically applies if you say a few magic words. There is actually no silver bullet that will guarantee you are protected by fair use when you use copyrighted material you don't own, and, or including the phrase, no infringement intended won't automatically protect you from a claim of copyright infringement. Good thing these animation meme creators don't have copyright holders on their memes, or else you'd be in deep shit, buddy! Including an entire video, literally the entire video, and adding nothing to it on top of that, that's, uh, it's not fair use. Anyway, enough of fair use. Let's add on to what Queen said about ad revenue. These things get hundreds of thousands of views, and in rare cases, a million or two. Hundreds of thousands of views. For downloading a bunch of people's content and shoving them together, showing the full video, basically gaining fame for other people's shit. Meanwhile, we have actual content creators fucking starving themselves editing sometimes to get videos out that only get a hundred views or so. Like, does anyone notice this? We got people earning hundreds of dollars, possibly even thousands off of these too. Cause I noticed quite a good amount of these videos were monetized. It sucks that people who do this type of stuff get a ton of support, despite their content literally just being other people's, adding nothing of their own, except for maybe an intro or a comment about triggered five-year-olds. It's honestly fucked, and it sucks. One might say, wow, what if this ad? You're just jealous. You damn right, I'm envious as fuck, and I'm sure others are too, that content creators put so much effort into their stuff, not even receiving hundreds of what these animation meme comp makers get. A good example is DarkBF's second channel, with over 100,000 subs. It's gained 4.5 million views in the past 30 days. Judging from my past experience with YouTube AdSense, estimating, that's around $2,000 to $4,000 gained in the past month from this shit alone. So, if it's true that they get $2,000 to $4,000 estimated, that's more than a minimum wage job monthly, just about twice as much and a little more. That's right, our boy here is making more money making these animation meme comps than people working their ass off in these 9 to 5 jobs. This shit can go for any type of animation meme compilation too, not just cringe comps, but I don't want to get into the others for now. I'm just saying, this shit that doesn't really benefit anyone except for the creator of the video, if we can even call them one, nah, we really can't, but you get what I mean. It hurts the artist, disregarding their feelings, cause whatever, it's basically using their work for the video maker's own personal gain like I stated before. Cringe comps are shit unentertaining, and basically just using others' creations for your own personal gain. How about try creating some original content? Maybe that's something I wouldn't call a waste of my life to watch. That's a challenge I have for these animation meme comp makers. These people making fun of the others who make poor art are worse than the people they're making fun of. At least, those are actual people putting actual effort into their content. So, on the end, it's fucking terrible to do this kind of animation meme cringe comps. And if you do them like this, please rethink your life. Thanks. Or if you want to improve, just stop making them like this and actually critique and help the artists on how to improve. If you want to monetize videos like that, sure I guess, but if you monetize them by just throwing a bunch of videos together, you really should be ashamed of yourself. Those cringe comp creators aren't talented in essence, they are just bullying developing art young artists. Don't bully young children that have the potential to be great artists. Even if their work may seem bad now, critique it, don't just make fun of it. Furthermore, the editing is minimal and they themselves are hardly pushing to do great things, such as helping critiquing the artists and they can even do that properly. Only thing they do is stick a few videos together that sometimes aren't even cut properly or don't have the artist's name censored. Big bad Betty of the Pocalypse She opens her lips and it goes like this When the